a controversial new law to tackle hate crime, comes into effect in Scotland today, the Hate Crime and Public Order Act. The bill piggybacks off of existing legislation on the offence of stirring up racial hatred, extending it to the protected characteristics of disability, religion, sexual orientation, age and transgender identity. And for anyone found to be committing a crime motivated by hatred towards those characteristics, a harsher sentence will be given too. I'm joined now by former political editor of The Sun, Trevor Kavanagh. Trevor, good evening, mate. Uh, does this bill stifle freedom of speech? I think it might, uh, JJ. <laughs> um, it's not as if <clears throat> the police have got nothing else to do, is it? although they've abdicated recently any uh, intention of following up any minor crimes, as they call it, like burglary and other things, which really annoy people. And so they've got uh, an extra 500 cops, don't know where they come from, to look into hate crime, which is a horrible expression in itself and uh, should be banned as a, an expression of hatred all by itself. And so anybody, including wives, children, family, visitors around the dinner table, will be able to anonymously uh, accuse innocent people in some cases. Some people will be guilty, but mostly people will be simply making inadvertent remarks which are going to be reported to specially designated centres, uh, about 400 of them dotted around Scotland, including a sex shop uh, for some reason, um, <laughs> where they can claim that someone's uh, uttered words which were forms of hatred against anyone of several uh, different forms like uh, race, uh, gender, um, uh, probably obesity, anything you like that you feel that you've been offended by. And then the police have to and have promised they will investigate. They will drop all other investigations and look into your potentially entirely petulant grievance. That seems crazy. So the bill's going to allow people to be called out for what they could say even in their own homes. So if I'm sat at home and I say, that Mike Graham is a bit of a fatty, isn't he? He could lose some weight. Someone in my house could call up the police if we were in Scotland and report me for that. Yes, indeed. And uh, as I say, the police have promised to investigate every single allegation. I'm delighted to hear that one of the prime targets, not because I want her to be, uh, is J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter genius. And uh, she has vowed that she will fight any attempt to prosecute her. Now, she could become the very first test case to this stupid law. And with her resources and her access to the finest legal brains in the world, if not Scotland, um, will be able to contest and I think defeat any attempt to prosecute her. It seems that every kind of possible characteristic is being protected. However, being a woman is not protected by this law. No, and this is the whole point about the trans issue. The idea that all anyone who wants to be uh, defined as a woman can do so and therefore enter women's uh, only spaces or uh, compete in women's only sport um, are, are made to be as ludicrous as they are. So uh, they can be uh, regarded... I, what, where do we start with the case of the, uh, the rapist um, that... Uh, claimed to be a woman and has had repeated um, uh, rape I, charges proved Isla against Bryson. him. Isla Bryson, you mean? Isla Bryson. Yeah. Isla Bryson and even Yousaf Humad, uh, the, uh, the, the leader of the uh, uh, SNP in Scotland, is up for um, hate crimes against her by saying that she wasn't a proper, proper, proper woman. So, you know, this is the whole point about this law is that it's almost incomprehensible to the point where the police cannot police it. So will they just apply some common sense here? Because as we're talking about Isla Bryson or Adam Graham, as I prefer to call him or her, Isla Bryson, double rapist, turned up to court in, I remember the picture, a very, pair, very tight pair of purple leggings. You could see her penis. So surely if, if, I, went, if I was in Scotland and I said, no, no, that, that's, that's not a woman, that is a man. And then somebody tells the police, JJ just uh, misgendered that, that woman who's, who's a double rapist. Surely the police would, would look at that case and, and say, actually, and, the, and on this occasion, JJ is, uh, there's no charges to press against him. Well, I would hope so, JJ, but the thing is that you've actually just hit on a very important issue here. Um, this alleged woman has a penis, and uh, the Labour leader, Sir Keir Starmer, suggests that tens of thousands of people 
who are men but proclaim to be women have penises. So is this going to remain in Scotland? Is this absurd law going to be limited just to the Scottish uh, frontier? Or is it going to spread south into Britain generally? I mean, we've seen Labour in action uh, on the um, question of uh, woke agendas on bending the knee to uh, Black Lives Matters, uh, insisting that some women uh, have penises. Why won't they pick up the same sort of hate law which is applying in Scotland. And it's extremely alarming that this sort of culture war is spreading across the country to the deterioration, detriment of everybody in the country.